I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or a $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team at City of Dublin Natural Gas. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to West Lawrence High School for the game of the week. A Thursday night game here as West Lawrence taking on Rutland. Here we Looks go. Like Rutland's start one off to the ball. Say deferred. Bradley Wilson at midfield. The, uh, the captain at midfield. West Lawrence under the field. head coach, Katie McLean. Uh, Captain's Jason on the Rister, side as well. Jason Rister, offensive coordinator and quarterback. I just recognizing him. Can you spot those first? I'm here on top of the press box, Stephen ladies Edwards, and gentlemen. Eddie Floyd, uh, Von Murphy. And we will be calling the game tonight. Tell them about yourself, Coach. Hey, my name's Josh Carter. I'm the head baseball coach here. West Lawrence High School. Excited to be out tonight for this Thursday night game against Rutland High School. Excited to watch some of our baseball players play uh, as well as a lot of our other athletes here at the school. Many of you remember uh, Coach Carter. He's been on a couple of times. been on with baseball. He coaches uh, middle school softball as you just said. Here we go. Blue and white. He's about ready to take the field as a Nothing better than the sound of the Raider Brigade. Start running those singers, folks. It's finally time for some football here at the shoot. Let's give it up for the Raiders. Time to start rushing some dogs on the sled. Let's get after those Huskies. Coach Carter was playing a uh, Thursday night game trying to allow Rutland, a making school, of course, uh, to be able to make up some games they missed earlier in the year. They're trying to put in a full season. So uh, athletic director Jeff Clayton, Coach McLean, and the staff agreed to play this game on a Thursday night. A little bit lighter crowd out here, but uh, still a great night. It dried off well. Really need this win, though. Uh, trying to go in at third or fourth, preferably third. The uh, Everybody's been affected by the pandemic, Coach. Uh, a lot of linemen have been out over the course of the year. I, I think every lineman that's still out, still playing, that didn't walk, uh, will be starting tonight. So we'll be in a little bit better shape. He's bringing it back. Here you go. Uh, so we'll be in better shape. Uh, just about ready to get underway here. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back for the opening kickoff. <laughs> Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative for Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson counties, is proud to support our local high schools, our East Lawrence Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Lawrence Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives. Go team! And here we are for the opening kickoff, ladies and gentlemen. Short kick. But I have a decent return up to about the 35 yard line. Yeah, let's just check. Ball carried out, number three, Jaquiel Edmond, yeah. Jr. sets it up. Campbell on the tackle. Right. Yeah. Raiders going right. to set shop up. Good right, position about the return, coach. yard line. He's played good. He played good at corner. Of course, you put who you can on special teams and break who you can. Pretty good field position. The ball's going to be in about the 37 yard line. All right, Wilson at quarterback, Hickman in the backfield. So we know that one, right? That's right. All right, we got motion over to this side. 
or draw it up and throw it this time. Got a man. First down and a little bit more. Tyler Franks on the reception. Franks Bradley Wilson with the first down. Bias making the stop. Coach, you know about when you get into Close region to play, you got to be playing Raider. your best ball. First down. That's right. And that's what Coach McLean and the entire staff are trying to get these young men at. Had a week off in between, an uh, uh, open week. So that allowed some of them to heal up. Got three broken hands. That's right. On the field tonight. Yeah, this this point of the season, really, it's it's next man up, regardless if it's a virus or if it's an injury. The next guy's got to be ready to go. Looks like Wilson going to keep this. No, he's going to launch one way down the field, out of reach. Hit with, in motion. Falls incomplete. Out Just took off down 10, the field. He's got three, speed. You talk about a hard-nosed football player, Coach. You've seen him play. Yeah, he's, 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 an, he's an athlete. It doesn't matter if he's on the football field, baseball field. I've coached him in basketball as well. Very competitive guy, and Bradley's going to do whatever he can to benefit his team and get a W on the board. Yeah, we were talking this past week, Coach McLean and I were, and, and he, you know, he reminded me that, you know, Bradley would love to be at every position on the field. He'd love to be playing both sides of the ball and Absolutely. never come out, but you got your best athlete at quarterback. Absolutely. That's what you got to have. So it brings up a second down and 10. Just underway here, the game of the week on TV 35. Thanks for tuning in. Drawing it up, pass again. In and out of the hands. Ramsey. Colby Ramsey, the intended target, falls incomplete. Raiders going to be looking at third down. Still 10 to go. Ball sitting 47 yard line. Third down and 10. Not exactly what you want to draw no. up, but we'll see what we got. Play action right there. Ramsey needs to catch that ball on the sideline. Yeah, and he's had good hands all year. He'll miss one or two. Yeah, throw it up here, buddy. They only cost one. Okay, cool. Thank you, bud. Hey, get you a snack, man. Appreciate you. Get you a snack, man. There you Appreciate go. you, man. Thank All you, right, buddy. third down play. Thank you. Thank you, man. Brought it up the pass for sure. Hit Hickman. Got a holding call. The flag came up on this bottom side. Pass complete to Robinson. Finley flag sits about 50 yard line. <laughs> Here, get you a good program. Number one, Caleb Try that one out. On Let's see, same thing yeah. right there. How about that? Now, will you go back over and voice over all this? Field. This is it. This is it. <laughs> 11 minutes on the clock. Lawrence. And the penalty, they're going to take the penalty. So it'll still be third down. So five yard penalty. It's, it's really a third and 15. Right, Coach? That's correct. I mean, everybody's thinking pass. That's right. Need a big play right here to continue this drive on the opening possession. He's got an empty backfield right here. Four men out to the right and one to the left. Got some blocking. Good move. Want two good moves. No, nope, couldn't take it after that third. Cam coach. Robinson spin moves out Got there. about to the short game. <laughs> Tackle made number 34, Phelps. Going to bring up fourth down. Raiders looking. Yeah, we'll be right. Fourth down, so Hickman will be forced to punt. You know, like we were talking about earlier, such an athlete. He and Wilson in the backfield the majority of the time. He's such a tough kid. Hope he gets off a good punt here. Now, Rutland will be standing on about the, uh, what, 15, 17 yard line to receive this punt. Snap back's a little low, but he scoops it up. Gets his foot into it, a good high punt. Gonna let it roll. He's gonna roll dead about the 20 yard line. That's where Rutland will have their first offensive try, and we'll take a break and be right back on the game of the week. Friendly Gus has everything you need this football season. From our everyday value items like a fish, pork chop, three-piece dark, or two-piece white meat snack for just $5.50. Friendly Gus caters. Order one of our 20, 40, or 60-piece chicken finger or wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. 
Friendly Gus is your one-stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus with locations throughout Middle Georgia. Shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson Street for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. All right, back with you. First and 10 for Rutland. From about the 21 yard line. Snap back from the shotgun. I believe that's going to be either uh, movement. It's going to be some time of movement. Phelps on the carry. Boston making the stop. Flag sitting back on the 20. Both sides called from the line. It's going to be an initial indication. There we go. Hurricanes <laughs> moving back. Tell them you got the best seat in the house, guys. That's right. That's right. Great seat up here in the nest. Having a look at the defensive unit right there, TJ Jones, uh, Austin, and Haynes. Snap back, hand off straight ahead, and bam, he's met right there. Jathan, Jathan Willis, another tackle. He's Coming played well all Willis year. Making the stop. Yeah, Good Willis, kid. Willis got a nose for the ball, doesn't he? Coach? He does. He can find it. I had an opportunity to, to teach him when he was in middle school. Great young man, just a fantastic Brooke kid. Looking 15. Willis and Hosley and uh, the inside linebackers. Outside of Snell and Ash. Of course, there'll be a few more rotate in and out. And with a second down and 15 from the 21 yard line. Rutland's going to spread it out. One back and he gets the call. We squeeze it inside in a hurry, but he got about five. Phelps on the carry again, pushes it through. Tackle made by Willis, also number eight, sticking his head in there, Caden Snell. Yeah, Snell third down. really coming up Original off the bottom there. Yeah, that's another kid who can find the ball in a hurry. Also like to thank our scoreboard. Nine coaches. minutes left in the first Bank quarter. And former State Bank. Two of the great local Going to bring up Bank a third down, third and Lawrence 10 for County, Rutland. Bank of Dudley and former State Rutland got a lot of weight on that line. I mean, you can really tell we're outsized. Going to roll it out. He actually like going to pass, but and he does. There it is. Bounced off two or three hands. Sure did. Sure did. Almost a completion, almost an interception at the same time. <laughs> Stops the clock at 8.38. Defense is held. Rutland's going to be forced to punt. Going to bring up fourth down. Good stand by the Raider Blue. Let's give him a big hand. Billy on the Hurricanes decline. Back deep. All right, we're going to be standing about midfield. Number five, Wilson, number 12, Franks. Wilson and Franks at midfield. A lot of times you see Edmund out there, but along with Bradley Wilson. And man, you, again, you you know it, Coach. Wilson got such sure hands. Absolutely. He'll field it. We've let a few roll this year. I hate to see it, and I know coaches hate to see it, but you see backing up like that, you got to come down and catch it. And a lot of times kids start backing up, Wilson backpedaling, they lose it. Brayden That's right. Up first down 10. Feel like you say, he's such an outstanding athlete. Hey, we'll be back. You're watching the game of the week on TV 35. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. All right, back with you. It seems there was a flag on the play. We're going to make them punt it again. Offside is going to take about five yards, and we're going to try for a return here. So now we'll be standing about the 45-yard line. Snaps a little high. Got the pressure on, so he yep. had, to, had to punt it in a hurry, and they get a heck of a roll. 
takes us about where we were to start out with from the 49 yard line. We'll stay right here with you each and every week. City of Dublin Natural Gas sponsors a game of the week. So we remind you to support them if you're in a neighborhood in the city of Dublin, anywhere in the outlying area in the county, you'll find natural gas in a neighborhood near you. Natural gas, it just makes sense. 821 on the clock, no score so far, you see. Maybe we're just settling in, Coach. Which one you want? Did that, this one right here is fine. Yep. Yeah. All right, and here comes that line back out onto the field. Bradley Wilson with Hickman in the backfield. Got twins on each side. There's a whistle. Can't get a playoff, Coach. Nope. Got offsides there. Rutland. That'll give us five to work with. Lined up in the neutral zone. Raiders push it up five. Gonna ring up first down. Clock still sitting at 821. Again, first and five from the uh, Rutland 46 yard line. Got Bonner in motion. Bam, good go. pass. Franks pass was it. Connected. First down Raiders, Colby Ramsey. Ramsey. Rambling in close to the 20 yard line. Sorry yeah, about that, Wilson's Ramsey. Next. You know, he, just about every game when he misses the first pass, he doesn't miss another one the that's whole right. game. That's so right. Let, yeah, let's hope that's the way it is. He's been a good receiver for us this year. Caught that one off that play action from, from Bradley Wilson. That's been ideal for us this year, hasn't it? Absolutely. Right, o, right over the middle right there. Grayson Clark coming in, Hickman out. That trip to the right, twins to the left, motion over on load up that other side, and throw it back this way. Mm. Almost picked there. That's incomplete. Trying Broken to up hit Clark, four, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Gonna ring up second down. You got a lot of baseball Passes players out there on that field, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. Grayson's one of mine, Bradley, uh, Tyler. Gunner Jeffers got injured earlier the year. Jace Thompson has had some time in at QB this year. All good guys, good athletes, and, and just good teammates. That Hickman in the backfield. Yep. Clark over on the side. We're going to pass it again. We got him that time. First down. That Another great play. Tackle May still out on the corner, number four again. Tyler Corbin. Franks, big six, five, six, number six three, target. Good also, completion good there. there the That's a cool Franks. combination, Ron, with, with Tyler and Bradley. They're always up, together. They're best friends, you know, so, you know, they can kind of read each other's minds. Tyler knows where Bradley's going to throw the ball, and, and Bradley knows when Tyler's going to come out of his break. Makes a lot of difference, doesn't it? It sure does. I mean, in any sport. That's right. You know your teammates well. I mean, you practice right. together all the time. You you get familiar enough. That's right. Got Ramsey on the right. Frank's wide out left. Got Hickman in the backfield. And this was straight to Hickman. He cuts to the right. Man, he's brought down hard. Look at him. The kid will not go down, Hickman but they blow the here. whistle. Tied up. What do you get? Five. Four yeah. on the initial hit. Helmet came off. Also kids a, kids a fighter. Searcy. Yeah. Shutting it down at the five. Raiders going to be looking at second down goal. Right, we're going to load it up in that backfield. Got Guyton coming in. Along with Jones, TJ Jones. This is the time you see them get inside that that 10 and put in that power set. I love power football now, coach. I, I'd like to be able to just run it. Of course, anybody would Absolutely. run it down your throat. Absolutely. It doesn't always work that That's way. That's right. All right, opportunity right here for the Raiders, second and five. Look at that kid go. Got about three out of it there after you go. contact. Out, number six. 
as Guyton. Making a run. He was dragging two, three guys with him right there. Yeah, from he Rockland. waited for him to pile on. He sure did. Started running. He sure did. Third down goal. Ball sitting hard on the three. Coming down to about six minutes left in this first quarter. Looks like we're on a three yard line. So, but it's third down now. Third down and three. Still in the power set. Clark in the game. And there's your woods. Another flag. Somebody called timeout, right? Got offsides. Offsides. Shoot, I was hoping for a timeout, coach. Yeah. Offside call. Gets the hurricane. Offsides will work. All right. That'll work half Ball's the distance. Ball's going to be moved up. Raiders still looking third down. Half the distance. Guyton coming out. Hickman coming in. Hard-headed Hickman. If they've done any scouting at all, they know where the ball's going. This, <laughs> this play right here. Third down about a yard and a half. And you called right, it, we Coach. Got it. We got Hickman it. Touchdown for Hickman. the Raiders. Six on the board, Nate. Raiders take the lead, 539. Good blocking on the left side. Number 64. Making Great the whole blocking in there. Number 65, Brandon Horn. Good to have that, most of that offensive line in there, Coach. So they're pretty they're pretty young. We lost a lot of guys on that offensive line. That's right. They've, they've gotten better throughout the year. Comes the extra point. Snapback's good. Got it down. It's up and good. That'll make it 7-0 with five and a half left in the first quarter. We'll be back on the game of the week. Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Devlin Wynn Nelson, and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585, or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. All right, back with you where we've scored. Did they say it was good or not? Because we got six on the board. I, I'm not sure if they did or not. I thought, it, I thought it was good. Yeah, we'll say it's 6 0 right now. Hurricanes number 30, Emmanuel Hicks. Mm. Offense will set it up. Raider defense. Beautiful. Feels in good shape, Coach. Coach I mean, Clayton. I'll give a shout out to Coach Clayton. He's, uh, in my opinion, he's the he's the best athletic director in Georgia. He's always working. He keeps this field in superb shape and does all the painting. And it always looks gorgeous out here on a Friday night or tonight's occasion on a Thursday night. This is a reward from doing all the paperwork he has to do, Coach. That's right. Well, There's a ton of it That's for an right. AD. People, if they only had an idea of how much yeah. Most goes into that job. Clue. No. Uh, Rutland with a first and ten, pitch it out wide, trying to get some That's speed a hold right out there. there. There we go. Got a flag on the play. Kid, rolls out around the right side. Pick That's up a big 11. kid. The tackle made out there by Wilkes from West Lawrence. We got flags. Of that was C.J. Johnson, number 19, I think, that was trailing the guy running the ball and Holding was gone. getting held by one of Rutland's defenders. That'll back Rutland up 10 yards. So it's still 17 there. Yeah, still first down. But first and 20. All right, defense up to the line. Rutland's still spreading it out. Going to pass it. Good open field tackle out pass there. Complete number seven, Edmund. Chris, Who was it? Chris Boston there on Boston. that open field tackle. Boston on the tackle. All right, Boston, Boston the corner sure coming up, uh, safety coming up. Stick. Got a couple of Bostons on the field. You know them all? I know Chris. I don't know the other Boston. Yeah. 
James Boston. Snap back. They're going to fake it and then bring it back up front. He had to get out of the way of his own line. Number 34 on the carry tripped up in the backfield. See who's coming off the bottom. They say Willis, but uh, CJ I mean, Johnson assisted in that tackle yeah, there. Johnson, Edmund came in from outside at the corner. I mean, we had pursuit on that one. Everybody's coming after the ball. 430 on the clock. Again, it's 6 0. I sure thought we made that extra point, but I thought we did too. We'll have to watch closer next time when we go. That's right. <laughs> it brings up a third and 14 for Rutland. Snap back, gonna hand it straight ahead. What a hole. Wow. Boston again. Phelps on the carry, cuts it up. Boston yep, Chris coming Boston, up, Boston again. It's gonna be marked down by the 30. He plays the run on. well. Yeah, he plays the run well. Real well. It's a good run, but when you're, you know, when you're first and 20, it's hard to do a whole lot. Yeah. Our defense, the defense played well right there, holding them. So again, fourth and four, Rutland to punt. From about the 37 yard line. That means we'll be standing on about the 35. Maybe get a return this time. Finally, we get everybody on the field. Pressure in the middle, but he gets a good high booming punt. We're going to let it hit. Yeah. Roll out of bounds. So it'll go out of bounds. At, while he keeps it coming, out. doesn't he? Take it 45. Up. Yeah, up to the 45 yard yeah. line. We'll have great field round. position right there, coach. We'll you take a break. Take we'll be right back. Right You're watching the game leaders. of the week. Hi, I'm Don Calls with Double Chevrolet. Many of us are ready to enjoy the holidays. You know, family, food, football, and with these deals, a new Chevy from Dublin Chevrolet. This Equinox LS is only $23,996. This 21 Trailblazer Active is only $25,295. Only Dublin Chevrolet delivers this Silverado Crew Cab Custom for an amazing $29,999. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you'll ever need. All right, back on the field. Recognizes some of those offensive linemen in the trenches. You got Deontay Holiday at 78. He's a kid that I don't even believe he played football in middle school. He came up to the high school and started playing. And, and according to Coach Rogers, he is a, he's a workhorse. He really puts in the time. I had Ron, I, I coach a lot, uh, I taught a lot of these guys. Deontay's another kid, real, real brainy guy in the classroom. He was a straight A guy in my classroom, and I don't, I don't know that a whole lot's changed. Yeah, you got to be smart to be on that offensive line. That's People right. don't understand what you got to keep up with. That's right. Got Terry Tobler. He's another one of my guys. He's on the offensive line down in the trenches. Second down, 10. We need better snaps. I tell you, if Bradley wasn't so athletic, that last one would have gotten away from him. Snaps good, drawing it up, gonna throw it up high for our man, go up and get it. Almost taken away. Pass intended for number 12, Tyler Frank. Good sport. Number four, yep. Cameron Foreman. On the we tight threw it up high to the, the guy. He did, down, trying to Raiders use that Raiders. height to his advantage. Tyler just was unable to come up with it. Don't forget the Raider Brigade, 50-50 coming through the stand. Two more guys on the line we give some credit to. 64, Heart and Soul, 61, Gage Kelly. There, I see them a lot of times in practice. They're out there grinding, pushing that sled around. Coach Rogers is coaching them up. He's done a good job with those guys on the O-line this year. We knew the winner last time. I'm telling you we what. Needed, knew, knew we needed a lot of work there because right we were so young. Shoot. We're still young, but we got a little more experience. Got a little more though, experience. Coach. Three minutes on the clock here in this first quarter, 6-0. Third down, 10. Bradley with plenty of time. Scramble around, he's gonna get brought down. He didn't want to lose the ball, but everybody was covered, it looked like. Penalty flags on the play. It's gonna be a late hit, inside, personal man, foul. Jim, That's a Jim. late flag. Back to the Let's see what the white hat says. Yep, got personal, personal foul fight. against Rutland. Yep. Evidently, they tried to punish Bradley once they yeah. took him down. That's a break for us, I'll Absolutely. tell you that. 
takes the third down, makes it first. But would have Yeah, good break takes us over midfield. Ball to be placed on the 39-yard line, 2.52 on the clock. Got to take advantage of breaks like that. See what we can do here. Maybe Bradley can hook up with his best friend again, Tyler. Mm -hmm. You got Appleby and Ramsey at the bottom of the screen. Clark's coming in motion. Loading up this one side and Hickman gets a call. Getting some blocks Pass the there. line of scrimmage. Number Downing ten, another Williams first Williams. down. Just good hard running John and Williams. great blocking out in front by those guys whose names you call. Tackle by Foreman and Phelps. Appleby out there blocking. First down, Raiders. Appleby's another kid that I've had in time with coach on the basketball Raider court. They call him Gronk. He's a hard yeah Gronk. He's a hard he's a hard worker too. He's Charlie he's a coach's kind of guy. Yeah good. Brian Christie Carter. Tim and in the backfield. Twins to each side. But Ramsey now beat to the left side. We're going to pass it. Bradley with time and he's pulled down from behind. Wilson wrapped up in the pocket. Jeez. Lost on the play. Taken down. It must be giving good coverage because he's taking a little long and yep. Marshall. down under two minutes in this first quarter. Hanging on to a skinny six point lead. Second and 20. 17, second and 17 or so. Yeah, looking at their line, Ron, they, they're they pretty beefy boys up yeah, they front are. there. Yeah, they are. They'll wear you down, Coach. They sure will. Trips at the top. Got one wide out on the bottom, Franks. Threw it up for Franks, and he wasn't there, so we're going to take it and run this time. Stiff arms one and falls forward Bradley for Wilson, maybe about two or three over the first original the line of scrimmage, Tackle but it's still third down and about seven. Bradley on a good run there. Got about half of it. Yup. That's the intuition, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this guy wasn't open. open, he just tucked and run the ball there. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to run it. You can tell. He doesn't yeah. mind running no, it. No, he doesn't. Uh, a little contact won't hurt him. Clock I, down. I would rather him throw the ball, yeah. however. <laughs> As his baseball yes, coach. Yes, I know, coach. I know well. Makes you wonder from the very first game. I thought about you right away after that game. <laughs> oh, man, and, listen, yeah. I was heartbroken. Yeah. Handed yeah. off to Hickman. Hickman powers forward, but he didn't get enough. Ball carried up on the inside. All right, well, we're in territory to be we're able to. Number 18. Oh, Boston James on the run. Boston. Yeah, Boston right, on the thanks, run. Thanks, Coach. Marshall making the stop. That's going to probably end the down. first Raiders quarter, up. Coach, yeah. with a 6 0 lead. And a fourth down and about they three. Changed it. We did get the extra point right there. Well, on that there first you go. Touchdown. Lord, have mercy. So we were right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll end it on that note in the first quarter. We'll be right back. Mid State Pools and Spas knows pools, in ground pools to above ground pools. Mid State Pools and Spas has over 35 years in the industry, building over 3,000 pools. We build all of our own pools, never subcontracting the work out. So if you're ready to build a pool, renovate a pool, or if you need weekly maintenance or liner replacement with a full 20 year warranty, call the professionals at Mid State Pools and Spas. Visit our showroom today at 2273 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin and see the new line of Marquee Spas. For the ultimate in hot tub experiences, choose Marquee Spas. Also see our new selection of casual patio furniture, available now at our showroom, Mid-State Pools and Spas, where we know pools. All right, back with you. We're going to start the second quarter with a fourth down, and it, they got five on the board. It looks like three to me, Coach. That looks like about three yards, two and a half, three yeah, yards. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We'll see what we do right here. All right, we got Clark and Hickman in the backfield. Everybody's in tight. Clark going to move over to the slot. 
showing stunt. Taking our time with 13 12 left on the play clock. There's the snap. It's just handed off to Hickman off that right side and good blocking Bordell all Hickman's the way. Over to the right side. First down. I mean, Let's great Lawrence. blocking. Appleby over there. Tackle made out on the corner by number one. We got Ramsey over there as yeah. well. Yep, Ramsey coming out of there. Who's that big lineman over there? 57. Yeah. Terry Tobler, my man Terry Tobler. Yep. Pushing people around. I see a couple of Rutland, Rutland linemen really hassling a little oh, they're bit hassling. there. They're, Absolutely. They're getting, uh, running around and getting pushed around That's a little right. bit down there. Credit to our guys. Keep chopping. Wear them down. Yeah. The first and nine from the nine. Loading up the left side. Hickman still in the oh, backfield. High snap. High snap. Give it to him anyway. And he dances around. Everybody was there by that time. It's that Seriously, one and a half, two up, seconds. That's right. Trying to get, to get the ball out of the air, not to let it go over your head. When it's like, you, like you mentioned ball, earlier, yeah. you know, Bradley's not an athlete. That's Second two down. snaps that's right. that, that we would have lost right there. Yeah, I've seen them throughout the year, Coach. I don't want to jinx us, but, uh, you know, he'll tip them down almost every time. I don't know of one that's going that's over right. his head. That's right. That's right. Because he'll get up and bring it down. Yeah. Second down, 11. Second and 16, excuse me. Good Lord. So a loss of about seven on that play. Good. A snap. Throw a snap. Ball. Ball. Throw it hard. hard. Can he hang on to it? He'll throw a bullet. Yeah, he will. Just short hopped him there a little bit to Ramsey from Bradley. And bring up third down goal. Ready to sit back on the 16. Just don't know if we got a foot enough to do anything from a kicker. Bonner comes in the game. Hickman's coming out. But you got to think pass. Yeah, third and 16, you pretty much have to pass the ball. Yeah, yeah. Unless, they, unless they're thinking two runs and, and not, not kicking a field goal. Yeah. Here it is. See what Respert and the gang in the box have drawn up for us. Empty backfield, taking time, pushed out of the pocket, gonna turn it up and run it, and now throw oh, it. Oh, good pass right there. Beautiful. Put the on the runners. Throw it in Clark's pocket. Up. Number four. Just waited it out, Clark's looking Clark's around for somebody. Clark got open as he has to. Again, that's two friends playing football, and they know each other well. The pursuit came up. Still, there was coverage out That's there. Right. But a, That's a right. good play. There's six more points on the board. Had a little extra action after the play there. Another personal flag thrown, I believe. Got to keep your composure, coach. It's hard sometimes to do, but you got to be willing to walk away from stuff. It is. Nobody want, I don't want to get kicked out. I want to play the game. Absolutely. And, and you got to think that way. I'm staying in, man. Yep. I can get you back later. That's right. It is football. That's right. Yeah, 1020 on the clock. We'll see what the officials got to say right to you. White hat kind of coming on over. Maybe we missed his call. Oh, we got one over on the side talking to the coach. Make sure he knows what's going on. Like you said, it's a personal foul against Rutland. Personal foul called. So what will they do? Mark it off on the extra point? On the kick. Well, I think they'll do it on the kick. Well, that's, it's offsetting personal fouls. Oh, okay. They took care of that. That's right. Well, it's like you said, you gotta keep, you got to stay composed. And typically in football, the second, the second guy that does something is usually the one that gets caught. That's right. Yeah. Let's see where we go from here. All right, they're sorting it out. See, can we get an extra point here again? Good to have those starting offensive linemen back on. I mean, we got some meat a lot more than we've had for a couple of weeks. Four fans for the Raiders six. There we go. Raiders up 13. Bradley Wilson's pass complete to number four, Grayson Clark. Yeah, the penalties didn't change anything. That was after the play. We'll line it up for the extra point. 
And that young man's name is? <laughs> 97. Last name Barat. Barat. James Thompson setting the leader. Extra point team up. Mokes Baroche. Got sure handed Jace down there to catch it, tee it up. He's the holder. Mr. Ford just said most Baroque. Most, most Baroque. No, nope, that's her kicker. Most Baroque. And he puts in his time. Commit that to memory, man. I know, I got it. I got it. <laughs> most puts in his time every day. I see him working every day while I'm out at the school on the field. You're around, aren't you, coach? I you try mean, to be. You got to know the young people and you to feed be. into them as well, don't that's you? That's right. That's right. Yeah, they know you care, and that's, that's invaluable. Snap back's good to get it down. There's your kick. He can punch it right through yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And it's good. Yeah, Got to make it 14, 14 to nothing. Raiders will take a break and be right back. You're watching the game of the week. glad to be able to introduce Tabitha Mullis. Um, she is a new practitioner to our practice, longtime nurse, great experience, and um, we're very glad Dr. Vega and myself, Alicia, and our staff to have her as part of our team to take care of all of your cardiology health care needs. And so I would like to introduce Tabitha and let her speak about her experience and also give you maybe some updated information on COVID. Hello, my name is Tabitha Mullis. I'm a nurse practitioner at Double Mecca Cardiology. I have been a nurse practitioner for six years practicing. Uh, I have done internal medicine, pediatrics, and um, currently work at Southeastern Immediate Care, which is one of our local urgent care family practices here in Dublin, Georgia, uh, for the last three years. I have been a uh, nurse for 20 years. I uh, worked at Fairview Park Hospital for about 14 years. Um, I probably worked in almost every area of the hospital, um, including med surge, pediatrics, uh, cardiac cath lab, ICU, ER. Um, I did work one year at the Coliseum Hospital in CVICU, so I do have heart experience. I wanted to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about COVID-19 and what our, our community has experienced with it. We are screening for any um, symptoms that could remotely be um, associated with that virus. Um, we have uh, taken extra initiatives to make sure that we follow up with those patients that have been tested and making sure that their symptoms are uh, improved before coming back into our office so that we're not reinfecting um, any of our um, elderly patients that we see here. I'm excited to join the staff at Dublin Macon Cardiology with Dr. Vega and Alicia Vega. Um, one of the most exciting things about our community is that we are an ch accredited chest pain center here at Fairview Park Hospital and our office is available um, seven days a week. Um, we have an on-call provider who can meet your needs if you're having any chest pain or shortness of breath or any problems. We would love to take care of you um, and we'll look forward to seeing you in our office. If you are new to our community, we are conveniently located on the campus of Fairview Park Hospital. All right, back with you, ladies and gentlemen, with 10.20 on the clock uh, left in the second quarter. 14-0, Coach. Here we got Mosh Barrow here coming with the kickoff. Taking on the 20-yard line. Shifty running, but nowhere to go right there. Another flag comes out. Jeez, face mask. Billy flag what? on the play. Close sideline there. Tackled by Jacob Holsey. Vincent on the return. Holds it with the tackle, but you, it makes you wonder. Face yeah, face mask is what it seemed like. Down to about 10 minutes here. Yeah, that's what it is. Holding call for a holding, holding call. How about that? There we go. <laughs> There's a break. I don't always see the holding call. Good to see you. Waving at your fans, coach. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I got my family down there. Yeah. Our, our, uh, our son that we adopted two years ago, he'll nice. be two on November 22nd. So he's been a blessing to, oh, to both Hope and me. I guess so. Nothing like it is a coach. There isn't. There isn't. He's a, he's a great kid, a lot of fun to be around, and he loves his mom and dad. We're just as blessed to have him as he is blessed to have us. Yeah, that's a special love. 
and uh, people should take advantage of that, Coach. You got you got to give up whatever time you can for your family. Absolutely. He loves being out here watching these Raiders play, <laughs> whether it be football, basketball, softball, baseball, whatever sport it is. He loves it. You'll have him on the tee before long. He's already <laughs> on it, Ron. He's already <laughs> on it. I we got in the it. yard all the time. I love it. Pitch it out wide. There's holding call, I believe. Man, look at it. Raiders big, bunch of white go over the right side. big hit again big by Jathan Willis. There. He just West flies around the, the field. Coming like you said earlier, Williams. he's just got a nose for the ball. Yeah. Also number eight, Caden Snell. Yeah, some th like people say, Hitler Coach, you just can't teach field. some things. You can't. Well, dirty laundry, moving it back. We are talking this week on the coaches show, Coach McLean, and he was talking about Bradley. We were bragging on him about halfway through the show and his accomplishments and his IQ, his football IQ. And, you know, you, you see kids, some kids have it. Some kids just hard know they play hard, but they just don't have that awareness that's on right. the field of everything that's going on. It's like they're reading it all. That's right. That's yeah. a special talent. Yeah, and just in football as in baseball, Bradley can play any position. He knows whatever position is going to do, and that's, it's fun just to sit back as a coach and watch. You know, I like to watch good baseball, good football, and it's fun to watch good athletes do what they do. Yeah. And coach, how they feed in good, good kids like that, good people feed into other people. Absolutely. And yeah, he they does do. that. He they encourages do. those young players, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's a he's a great teammate. Uh, I don't ever worry about Bradley uh, off the field at all. I know he's getting his job done, whatever that may be at the time. Throw it out. They had a little room, man. We closed that down. Yeah, we sure did. Pass out to the right side. That's CJ Boston again. Yeah, yeah. with with C. Willis. CJ Johnson making the start. CJ Johnson, excuse me. Corner. Sandifer again making the reception. Staying over on that hash with a second down, 15. It'd be nice for defense to keep this play up right here. We score once or twice more going into the half. And it's straight ahead. He's hit by one man. Phelps on the carry. And brought down in the backfield. Snell the over there. I can't see. Making himself known. TJ Jones. Jones. Tackle there. Also, Caden Snell, big play by that Raider defense, pushing him back. Hurricanes looking third down. Down under nine minutes here. Game of the week brought to you in part by Dublin Chevy Nissan. Dublin Chevy Nissan, the only dealer you'll ever need. Third down and 18. I think they'd have to throw the ball here. They may <laughs> just run it just to be safe and kick it out of their Got to try territory. for it. Got to try for it, Coach. Got to throw it. Another flag. Perfect pass. I don't think we're going to catch him, Coach, but that flag no, is probably going to bring it back. Pretty play, and they'll come back to that. Touchdown pass to number two. Yeah, they'll come back to that. Jackson, yeah. Making the reception, carries it all the way in, 95 yards. Got a Nobody flag, quit. So the two-yard no. line. Edmund or Boston stayed in his hip pocket the whole time. That's right. But if you hold, it's a little bit easier That's to get right. the play. Initial indication, illegal shift. Illegal shift there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, McLean's out there coaching them back down the field. He didn't like that. That's right. Bend but don't break. Fortunate we get to fix that coverage there from the illegal shift. Yeah. Looking for somebody on the sideline. I camped up over un underneath the tent. All for naught. Maybe we wore him down. He's a little tired. They won't go right back to it. That's right. I hope. I hope so. That'll bring up a timeout. With timeout on the field, you score 14-0 with 8:17 left in the first half. We'll timeout be right back.
Hey, I'm Tasha Rowland, and everyone here at the Cloverleaf Restaurant would like to invite you to come try our country-style all-you-can-eat buffet. We hold ourselves to the highest standards of safety and quality in the food we prepare for you. We clean our facilities constantly, and we offer curbside service. Just call 478-275-2080, and we will have your order ready right away. And Friday is our seafood day. You deserve a great meal. Cloverleaf Caters, call us for your next gathering or event. So treat yourself to the Cloverleaf Restaurant and make sure you're satisfied. We open Sunday through Fridays 11 to 2 with plenty of dining or we can get it ready to go for you. Hi, I'm Tracy Middlebrooks. I'm with Muddy Paws Dublin. We are a boarding, grooming, daycare and training facility. Our facility is a group play area. Our dogs get six to eight hours playtime every day. So when your dog comes to stay with us, they're not just sitting in a kennel. We have indoor facilities as well as outdoor facilities. We do separate dogs according to size and temperament. All of our kennels are indoors. So when your dog stays with us, they are sleeping indoors in a climate controlled environment. When it's too hot or too cold outside, this is one of the areas the dogs can come to get playtime. That way they're not just sitting in a kennel. Uh, if need be, we can rotate dogs between outside and inside. So if your dog is only used to the inside and the only goes outside to potty, we can accommodate that. Uh, we have a full service grooming salon six days a week. We also offer training. I am a certified professional dog trainer. I can do everything from basic obedience up to canine good citizens tests. So if you have any questions, feel free to call. Um, most of the training is done here on site. We have boarding also as well as daycare. Boarding starts at 27 a night. Uh, we do give a multiple dog discount as well as military discounts. We like to say that a tired dog is a happy dog. When your dog comes to stay with us, we look at that as them getting a vacation. Back with you again, 8.17 on that clock in the third quarter, is 14 0. And that illegal motion saved us. Again, it's third down 22. They're going to hand this one straight ahead, and we drop him right there. Close up on the interior, push back. Nowhere to go. Going to be spotted about the two yard line. Number 19 sticking his head in there for the Raiders. I, I got to say, Johnson. Coach Rutland's never been that disciplined of a team. They got athletes. They got size. That's right. You got to be disciplined. Reduce that hurricane to. down to a tropical depression. 751 Raiders up four. Yeah, they've got to get. They've got to get something going, or we could we could take this game out of hand very very quickly. Defense has done well tonight, but like you said, the the undisciplined. That, hit, that runs in our favor. And the punter is going to be standing just off, I'd say about two feet off the, yeah, off the line. Yeah, the back line. Go get him. Got it away, but it's straight up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great field position right oh, here. Oh, my. Probably about the five and seven yard line where we're going to take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's saying that we got a, we got a spot right here on the, on the two, two and a half. Let Hickman, hand Hickman the ball and just let him punch it right on in there. <laughs> just a lot of pressure. I mean, they, they oh, yeah. backed themselves up in that hole. Oh, yeah. Thought they might just give them enough room to be able to punt, but that didn't work out. Our defensive unit has played a good game thus far. You got uh, Jones coming in. You got a heavy set in that backfield. Appleby it tied in. Hickman behind. Hickman's Grayson gonna get Clark. it again. Good. Oh, he just runs over and rolls over to the top. Did they give Look it? Into the end zone. Number ten. Port Darien. The truck Hickman carrying it in. Number ten. Raiders up. That's good blocking, coach. Put a Raiders six on the board. Mr. Yeah, it sure was. Raiders on the way. I'll tell you, another personal, another personal foul. Flag on the play, sit down. Hickman's just punishing people down there. Yeah, he hit hit a couple, got on top, just rolled over into the end zone. I don't like these personal fouls. Uh, I don't know that we had anything to do with that one. It looked like the, yeah, uh, it was one sided, but it'll get out of hand. Oh, coach. it definitely can. Yeah, we need every player we have this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Not that you don't always, but That's especially right. this year. That's right. It's taken everybody. 
when we look back, Coach, uh, in, in region play, I feel like the Perry Perry beat us, but uh, Baldwin we gave the game away. Yeah, but we had limited players. That's right. You don't have everybody. That's right. And just that one big play at the end of that game just. Yeah, between the injuries and the virus this year, it's been so unpredictable. You know, for the players and for the coaches, you don't know from week to week <laughs> what's going to happen. Yeah, I tell you, there's a prayer to lift up, man. Coaches go through it right now. Absolutely. In dealing with this to try and do the best they can with what they have to work with. That's this it. Stress level's high. That's it. 708 on the clock. 20, see if we can make it 21. Kicks up. Good. Point, 21, nothing. 7.08 right left in the first half. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Anna Grace Myers from Myers Equipment and Supply, inviting you to come in today and see our full line of Can-Am products. For those who live for the challenges of off-road life, We've got what you're looking for. Remember, there's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Orange County. When we began looking for a location for our second Dublin banking office, the historic Henry Building looked like the perfect spot because Dublin and Orange County is our focus and making banking easier and more convenient for our customers is our goal. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. A local full-service community bank offering quality banking services. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, now open in downtown Dublin. All right, back with you, and you can see the ball's lined up on Rutland's 45. That's oh, much that personal foul. Try to onside. Good time to practice Old it, I guess, with your 21 points ahead. But we didn't come up with it. Got a shoulder in there on it. Tried to shake it loose, but Rutland just fell on top of it at about the 35, 34 yard line. The squad didn't get that last hop that we needed, that high hop to give one of our guys a chance to jump on the ball. Rutland jogs back onto the field. I'm trying to line it up and throw. You see, you got trips to that high side. They're going to go to the air. They're trying to get lined up. Coach is hollering where to line up. Quarterback keeper. We drop him right there, Snell. And who else? Who is it? Oh. Uh, what we got? Uh, Willis. Willis again. Yeah. Again. Yeah, Snell and Willis. That jersey will fold up, and I can't oh, tell. Yeah. I can't tell either. Who it is. Takes us down to 642 on that clock. Second down 14 for Rutland. Spread us out again. Second down play is a pass. He scrambles and we drop oh, him. Snell, Snell, Snell coming in. Snell number one. TJ Jones. Yep. Laying the boom to TJ Jones. Big play Raider defense. Snell went in. Snell went unblocked Steps off the edge. Back. Yeah. Just straight in. He's had a good year. And TJ Jones finished him off. Down under six minutes. Third down, 22 yards to go. You might get a chance to touch the ball again. Down to two on the time clock. And the play clock, I believe, ran out. I think it got did it too. off. Don't see any signal from. Comes on the reception. All the any official. Got it all. Must have. Right there on the corner, number 20. Got four or five Lewis. out of it. Still brings up 22. fourth down. Halsey fourth and down. about 20. We're taking the ball on about the 45 yard line. 
Franks and Wilson again. Close on that one, but we didn't get it. Goes out of bounds. Punt rolls out. Raiders set it up. They spot it. We'll take over at the 45 yard line. We'll be right back. You're watching the game of the week right here on TV 35. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express, where you'll always find friendly, courteous service every time you visit us. Fill up with pay at the pump. Take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. Enjoy our popular crushed dice with your favorite fountain drink. And you can always enjoy a fresh, hot breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So stop by and see us today, where it's always convenient and friendly. Neighbors Express, locations at I-16 at 441 and in Cedar Grove, where we provide farm fuel for all our customers. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express. When it's time to buy or sell your home, it's time to put the winning team of Century 21 to work for you, including Penny Helton, Beverly Forbes, Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, David Deeves, Delton Lamb, Jay Brantley, Jennifer Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Doberly, Ruth Watson, Sarah Kobe, Charlene Brantley, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Put the winning team to work for you. Century 21, Durden Cornegay. And you're sure to score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com. Call 272-1535 or come see us at 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Century 21, Durden Cornegay, the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. All right, back with you, 445. Clark, Clark in, motion. in motion. There you go. I couldn't tell about that exchange. Uh, Wilson kept it. Yeah. Nowhere to go. Bradley Wilson. I think he down just decided 14. to keep it there. Demarion Marshall making the stop. Hickman, I would I, almost look back. For yeah, him. I thought that was mine. I would rather Hickman get the ball there. <laughs> yeah. Well, after the play's over, so had I. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Four eighteen on the clock. The second quarter. Need another region win. Trying to get that third place at least, third place in the region and advance into the playoffs again. Wilson faked it, rolled out good, elusive. They just had to duck out of that one and throw it away. I mean, he just had to, just, it was an elusive way to get away from the defender. But That's right. What's up? Intentional grounding oh, initial call. He didn't get outside the hash. Was he not? I thought he was outside of it. Yeah. I thought he did a good job getting rid of the ball. No, right there. Evidently, he did it a little too early. Yeah, White has said no. Costly there. One of the few mistakes we've seen uh, tonight. All right, so third down, and how far is that, Coach? 25? I would say 25. <laughs> yeah, that's point. You know, you're up 21 nothing. third and 25, four really? minutes left. Just you got empty backfield here. I was going to say run it. We're fixing to throw it here. Yeah. Got quads left, single to the right, Franks to the right. Throw it to up. the single. Frank's come up with that pass. Pass complete. Sure it in. Hauls it in. Pushes Great the catch there by the Frank's. Fourth and going to be a third down or fourth down. I lost track of the down. Five. Yeah, fourth and yeah, five. Fourth and five. Yeah. He didn't quite get it up, but what a great catch. It was a great catch. Thrown well where only he could get it really yep. up high. Bradley had to throw it off his back foot there, but had enough arm strength to get it to him. Six pound anyway. That's right. Six, five, six, six, you can kind of go yeah, and get it. Yeah, odds are you're going to get it. That's right. Down about three minutes. We're going to punt. Rutland standing on the 20, 19-yard line or so. Hickman gets it off. 
Boom. Wow, Bowman punt. punt. Taking fair catch at about the 10-yard line. That's where Rutland will take over on offense. We'll be right back. You're watching the game of the week on TV 35. You want to acquire real-world skills instead of student loan debt? OFTC gives you an opportunity to succeed in a safe and caring learning community with flexible classes on campus and online. In just two years, you could be ready for a career in a lucrative field that you love. Whatever lies ahead, education and skills training from OFTC can give you the confidence to succeed. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Think differently about college. OFTC is an equal opportunity institution. Portion of this program is brought to you by Bailey's Custom Flooring. Treat your home or business to a makeover today with Bailey Custom Flooring, a proven contractor of commercial and residential coverings. Bailey Custom Flooring, locally owned and operated by Bill Bailey, offering floor covering sales and installation. For more information, call 290-6084. Right back with you, 254 on the clock in the second quarter with a Fresh set of downs, Rutland sitting on the 11-yard line. Oh, lost and the, ball. the ball came out. I couldn't we tell who came it. up with it. Yeah, we want it, but I don't know. No officials. See who comes up off the bottom. Jones coming up holding his hands like, what's going on? It's like maybe Rutland kept it. Yeah, Rutland kept it. Yeah. Raider Brigade over there warming up. I don't think they have a band, do they? Uh, they didn't Probably bring it if they, yeah. Yeah. if they have one. Down about 2.13 on that clock in his first half, 21 to nothing. Raiders with a good first half. Don't forget following the game, we'll hand out a player of the game trophy. Coach, you gonna get the uh, pick who the player of the game is for West Lawrence tonight. All right, fantastic. A good little pass, but he couldn't hang on to it. Couldn't have been much better thrown out. Huh? Hit him Bruce. right in the shoulder pads. Coverage out on the corner, number three for the Raiders. Jaquiel Edmond coming up in support, Chris Boston. Stops the clock at 149. Third and 15. Great night for the West Lawrence Raider Brigade 50-50 raffle. They've been up here 20 minutes counting the pot, folks. Hope you got your ticket in. A little too late, but they've got to they gotta draw it in a few minutes. You're going to have to get your tickets out. Tell you what, Brinks is coming in tonight. Snap back, going to hand it off. A little delay there, but nobody was really fooled. Loose ball on the blade, picked up. By the hurricanes. The ball came out at the end. Time out calling West Lawrence. I don't know if he's on the ball or down there. He was just on the ball. Yeah. With time out on the field, we'll step away and be right back. Football season is here, and Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus would like to wish all of our area teams the best of luck. Go Irish, go Falcons, go Crusaders, go Raiders. Best of luck this season from Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, where you'll find old diamond jewelry marked half off right now. And you can also save on 10 and 14 karat gold bracelets, chains, and rings. Randolph's will size and repair any jewelry and offers confidential loans on gold and silver. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, wishing all our area teams the best of luck this football season. See Randolph's today at 304 Pine Forest Street in Dublin or call 275-0427. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. 
All right, on the other side of the timeout with 139 on the clock, a fourth down and 15. For Rutland. See if they'll give Franks or Wilson an opportunity to return one. I don't think they've returned one all game. Um, they're standing about the 35, so Wilson will take it. Looking for some more running room. He puts his head down in there. Another flag. <laughs> I don't know, man. Mitchell engagement against West Long. 10, 12 penalties already. Yeah. Good field position. We'll see if it backs us up or if it's against Rutland. Comes your white hat. It's against West. Goes against West Block Long. in the back. They're going to set it up, 127. Left on the clock, Ball, ball's going to be pushed back. Just got behind him, Bradley, a little ginger there, isn't he? Sitting down yeah. on the You're watching him, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, again, 127 on that clock. Raiders back onto the field with not quite as good field position. Ball spotted on the 30-yard line. Hickman in the backfield. Snap back, we're gonna pass it. Let him through his little screen, and Hickman wow. just took it away from the offensive lineman that was standing there, bouncing off, looked like a ping pong ball. Rolls out of one and one more. <laughs> I could have easily been intercepted by the lineman there. Yeah, he just, more. Tackle on the play. Got more action, Got more laundry on the field. Team. Yeah, more talking from both sides. You cannot engage in that. More personal fouls. I believe halftime's going to be tough on our players. Absolutely. Coach McLean doesn't put up with this. I like to see him get a little excited sometimes. I do too. Of course, you don't have to watch him long to see it. That's right. He'll get fired up. He's telling Franks right there. Coach McClain's telling Franks he's just got to walk away. Yeah. That's it. And you've got to because they're offsetting penalties. If you walk away, which is hard to do, I know. But, but it betters your team there. Yeah. Penalty marked off against the Hurricanes. The penalty against the Hurricanes. That's so they weren't offsetting that time. One oh seven on the clock, a chance to score now with the ball on the 14, 13 yard line. Wilson in the backfield alone. Clock down under one minute rolling. Snap. There's your pass. Touchdown. Good. Pass. There you go. Ramsey with the catch. Raiders. Bradley Wilson. I mean, he threw a bullet again. Yeah. That was Frank's there. Oh, seconds. Frank's. Yep, my right there. No, you're good. Mr. Enzone. And no flags. That's the good part. One of a few plays. <laughs> yeah, Frank's again, that big target and good hands, big hands. You got to have tough hands to catch Wilson's okay, ball. Yeah, absolutely. You. He's firing a rocket. Snap back's good, the kick's up. Most broad again the with, the, uh, with the with the extra road. point. And Takes us to 28 nothing with 49 seconds left in this first half. We'll be right back. I am proud and honored to speak on the behalf of Stepping Stone and the great work that they have done in our community. We are very blessed to have uh, Stepping Stone here to assist not only our community and the victims with the spirit of excellence, but even to our law enforcement when it comes down to prosecuting these cases. Stepping Stone is epic when it comes down to the forensic interview, the evaluation, as well as the medical exam here, right here in Dublin, Georgia. For years, I've served on the board here at Stepping Stone in the past, and it was a task to get a sane nurse here in this area. And Brooke has done an excellent job with her staff to have a sane nurse to serve eight or more counties. 
when it comes down to these types of investigations. You cannot ask for a better facility. So today I'm very proud to speak on their behalf and the great work they've done in our community. And there's a kickoff. Taking on about the 25-yard line. There we are. We stack him up on the outside, drive him out at about the 34, 35-yard line. Taken down by number 29, Martavian Blash. Blash with the stop. And Rutland onto the field with okay field position, but only 43 seconds left in this first half. Already walking onto the field is Rutland. And let's see what they do here. See if they try to get a couple passes off, try to score. They hand it off here right up the middle. Bills. Taking it to the Isaiah line. Austin, you mentioned him a while ago. Isaiah yeah. Austin with the tackle there. Wrapping him up. Wraps him up. Also Good tackle. Up slow from the pile, number eight, Caden Snell, number 50. Bryson Haynes, one of our captains for tonight, going to bring up second down, eight for the Hurricanes. There you see that front three. Don't forget to get your 50 50 yeah, you got raffle Bryce, you got Bryson ready. Haynes there. We're going to be reading it out shortly. Got T.J. Jones called his name several times tonight. Oh yeah. That'll take us to the half with a score of 28-0. We'll be back Into in just a moment. We're at Roach Farm and Garden, and hunting season is here. It's that time of year. Need to get your food plot going. Carry a full line of Rack Master by Pennington Seed. Wildlife mix, deer mix, peas, oats, soybeans, iron clay peas, and wheat. And for your dove hunters, Milo sunflowers and feed wheat. Even carry Mojo decoys. Full line of trophy feeders, gravity and spin feeders. And once you get them, you need to have something to put in them. With bulk corn, we got corn on the cob, deer feed from ADM, Antler Extreme, and 4S Draw. You will soon need something to cook all the game. We got grills, griddles, deep fryers, not to mention outdoor benches, chairs, and fire pits. Keep in mind, we got a full line of Carhartt clothes. Wanna make your feet happy? Pick up a pair of boots. We got Rocky, Georgia boot, and Twisted X. Need trail cameras or rechargeable batteries? We got Spy Point, Wild Game Innovations, Plot Watcher, and Stealth Cams. Come check us out. No time to get your minerals out in the spring? You still got time. Roach Farm and Garden carries salt blocks, mineral blocks, trophy rock, vapple, and deer cane. You need a place to sit? We carry Millennium Lock-On Deer Stands and Tower Stands from Custom Outdoors. Don't forget to pick up some Voodoo Deer Lure. It puts a hex on them. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden, two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville.
funds for their freedom to make. That price is paid by the sons and daughters at home, abroad, or on distant battlefields. The freedoms that we enjoy today would not be possible if we work for our veterans past and present. Tonight, we take great pride in honoring those who have served in the armed forces of the United States and ask that you stand when we perform your branch service song so that you may be recognized and be thanked for your service. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, e, these brave men and women have fought and made us proud. They are the few, the proud, the United States Marines.
I'm Stan Cooey, the headmaster at Trinity Christian School. Academically, we've got great teachers here, great staff, employees that'll do everything to educate your child. Standardized tests are above the state and uh, national average. Graduates are able to get into the schools they want with the Hope Scholarship intact. Uh, we talk about building character and a disciplined and, and safe environment at Trinity. Most of all is that we're going to provide a spiritual background for your child to learn about Jesus Christ. You know, we have chapel for all ages. If you've got questions about Trinity that you want to come out and uh, see me, I'll be glad to meet with you or Pam Horn, our admissions director, and we'll be glad to meet with you and sit down and give you a tour. Come out and see us and we'll uh, tell you about Trinity. Back with you, 28-0 to start the second half. Hope you enjoyed that halftime. Fair caught it right there on about the 39 at Patriotic halftime. There's nothing like being an American is a job. That's right. Yeah, the band did a band did a great job there, just uh, giving thanks to our to our military and armed forces who do so much for us to to have our freedoms that we have here in the great United States of America. Thank you all for your service out there. Absolutely. All right, Rutland to take over from the 39, first and 10 to start the second half. Raiders with a 28-0 lead in this region game. Thursday night game, and it's just because, again, uh, we started out broadcasting saying that Macon had to uh, sit back according to their board. They made them sit back for about a month before they could start playing football. So now they're trying to make up a lot of games, try to get 10 games in a, a shorter period of time. So here we are. And if you can't notice the size of that, that Rutland line, a couple kids down at it quite stout. Yeah, they're beefy. Our guys have done a very good job with them tonight, though. So far, so good. First and 15. Snap back's all right. Fake or roll out. You know they're going back to a pass, but we don't give him any time. Round up, loss on the play. Good play, though. Jamin Ash. Coming up, number seven. Jamin Ash and number 24 stepping in, helping out. Jamin Ash Isaiah and Isaiah Austin, Austin on the tackle deep. there. That's first action we've seen from Javen tonight. Good job breaking on the interior there. Dropped him for a loss of five, so that's second down 20 for Rutland. We thought they'd go back to the air. They're active back there, too. Oh, yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, he got some middle schoolers back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's straight ahead. That hole closed up in a hurry, and he's hard to bring down, but Boston grabs him by the shirt and pulls him back. And again, Jathan Willis in there on the action, number 20. Willis getting down low and in those legs, stopping that forward motion and letting the Calvary get there. Third down, 20. Raider defense just answering the call so far. From the 34 yard line. Here's your third down play. Going to roll out the pass, going to throw it back to the other side. Good block. Oh, good tackle, Willis. Good catch hauled in by Sandifer. Willis. Willis just got right in there and read it four. from behind, but hey, it was a well designed play. I don't think we've seen that down. wrinkle. Well, no, we haven't, not tonight. That may be one they go back to in the in the future. And pushing fourth down seven. Dropping back to Wilson and Franks. Yeah, Jason Frank. doesn't get there. They're liable to have a first down. Yeah, right yeah. There. he had some real estate, but Wilson just came out of nowhere and pulled him down from behind. The Rutland forced to punt again, and we're standing to receive on about the 30-yard line, so maybe we'll get a return on this one. Yeah, Wilson with the only return that I can think of in the last couple of games. That's right, yeah, the punt, the punt game hasn't been real good for Rutland. Gets off a good punt here. Frank's fair catches. 
at about the 32-33. Flip the field on that one. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the game of the week. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. All right, back with you, 921 on that clock. Also, Helen Harper Raiders with a field position from the 32-yard line. There's a snap back on a hand it to Hickman. Got a hole. Whoa, he cut it back inside. Was that pretty or what? Absolutely. That kid can move. Well, Hickman pushes the ball up to the 41-yard line. His exactly. lateral movement has been very impressive Golden. tonight. First contact just about won't bring him down. No. No, he's he's been he's been dragging Rutland guys two, three, four at a time tonight. Second down and eight. I'm sorry, second down and two with a gain of eight on that play. Frank's out wide to the right. Or hand it straight ahead or. Cool. Got a first Hickman down, if not close. Ball up first, down West Lawrence. first down, Hickman carried a couple on his back. back. Jones. Takes us up to the 45 yard line. Hickman coming out for a much needed break right there after carrying the rock several times. Somebody threw the football active, over here. Active bunch down here. <laughs> Got a little Nerf ball right here. <laughs> They're going to hold that one back, Coach. 8.05 on the clock, third quarter. There you go. Rutland You're welcome. jumps off sides. The only flag's going to push the ball deeper. Rolls on in. That'll take Picks us up, up over midfield. Ball First sits right on the 50-yard line. 50. Straight up on eight minutes left in this third quarter. We hadn't had to throw the ball a lot, but it's been mostly a running night. That's right. Yeah, Hickman's done a great job tonight. Bradley's just put it right in between his pads, and he's he's taking care of the rest. He's got most of the carries tonight. Most in, in past games, we've seen two or three running backs, but it's been mostly Hickman. Beautiful right there. Right there to Carr. Car. With a catch over the middle, breaks through one. Clark on the carry. Good and down inside, the down to the 34-yard line. In the backfield area. Got to love it. Line. Right over the middle, right there. Good pass to Clark. He just took that kid. one yeah, guy, he didn't he? Did. He's having a, have a taste of his shoulder pad. And with that note, looks like got a man down for Rutland. We'll step away and be right back. Stay with us. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you.
Back with you, 720 on that clock and rolling. Is that Hickman in the backfield or we got a different man, don't we? I see. Is it? We got 27. Uh huh. Turner. Lorenzo Turner. Yep. Turner's got some speed. Yeah, he does. Makes his first appearance tonight. No, I'm good. Thank you, Noah. It's hard to talk to you at the same time. All right, there's the whistle. Faked it, gonna pass. Wilson rolls out. That big guy won't oh, catch good him. Block, good Rolls block it up. Lorenzo. Ah. Didn't have enough air under it. Wilson's pass falls incomplete. Bad it was advantage. almost intercepted. Brown Just threw off his back foot there, there a little bit. <laughs> For the hurricane. Tried to get it to Franks, down. right? Yep, throwing a back foot on the run. Lorenzo got a good block in right there in the backfield. But one thing about Bradley, he thinks he can do it. Oh, he, yeah, he believes it. Absolutely. He's a, he's a believer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's, a he's, a, he's a confident guy, but he's not a cocky guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, again, second and 10. Got twins to the right. Hickman with the call. Look at that. Picks Lorenzo. up five or six. Was that Turner? Yeah, that's Turner. All right. Keep it straight, coach. Yep. Lorenzo Turner. Good run the right there. Side. Just He's came into the game. Down, Fresh Short legs. Five. Yep. Here in the third quarter with 6.45 on the clock. Third down along four. Turner comes out. Ramsey goes in. We have anybody run the ball in here? We're just going to go empty, empty backfield. Four yards. We're across midfield. Empty, go back empty backfield. Field. We got trips to the left. One guy comes into motion. Oh. He threw it hard. He did. He had, he had Grayson. Grayson had sat down over there, just sitting there in that zone, waiting, waiting. Yep. Just we just didn't see him. Got a turnover, interception. It's the first turnover of the game, right? They didn't yep, have one. No, did that's one. correct. First, first turnover. Six thirteens on the clock, and we'll call on the defense again to come onto the field. Also, Vernon and Brenda Holloway, Brian and Jessica Horn. Clay and Mandy Hutto, Stan and Mandy Jessup, some of our Raider 150s. Rutland just trying to get on the board. You would think they'd have to start passing the ball a little more. But they've been pretty run first tonight. Yeah. They've had some success through the year, and you can tell why. Absolutely. Hard nosed running back in a big line. They try to spread it out so they can. And here's your pass. Got him. Got a flag on the play here. Really flag on the play. Good pitch and catch. Caught by Marshall. Looks like it's going to be on Brooklyn. We got a hold here. Oh, block, chop, yeah. chop block. Chop block. Man, they've gotten real serious on that. Absolute, absolutely. Over the last uh, several years now. A lot of damage been done by that. Yeah. Stops the clock at 6.04 and going to back Rutland up to about the 30. See where he stops walking. He's going to keep backing up. Like say, congratulations yeah. 15, to 22. Middle school yeah, from the 22 yard line. Beat Dodge County Middle School today. Girls won four to nothing. Boys won three to nothing. West Lawrence and Middle School Lady Raiders and Raiders soccer team. Oh, soccer right. team action. Soccer. There you go. Yeah. Shout out to the middle school soccer teams for, for winning the day. <laughs> and it off again. Look at my guy right there. Bell wrapped up, nowhere to go. Let's call him number 50, Bryson Haynes. And Bryson Haynes with a big good tackle right the there. Middle. Tonight's captain. Another good guy. I had an opportunity to teach him for a year. Give a shout out to some of my softball girls that play play uh, play soccer. Yeah. Got uh, got Jaylee Giles, Hallie Nobles, K 
Caitlin Nesbitt, Caitlin Wilson, several others. Um, and I encourage them to play multiple sports. They're all good athletes, and I believe in in sharing, especially when you have real good athletes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they need that, Coach. They, don't, do. they need to develop. They do. Down to five in the third quarter. Snap back and hand it straight ahead again. They're not going away from the run first. But that's going to bring up a third yeah, really down and, and forever. Nowhere to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Probably 28 charge. yards. Well, that's Lawrence Raider defense also knifing in Caden Snell and JT Jones. Every week these kids have gotten better and better. I can tell you, uh, Snell, Caden Snell, a junior there, he, he's played well throughout the year, though. He started high, high intensity, high tempo. Yeah, we've called his name several times tonight. Third down and long, long. Going to go pass, no pass here. Here's the pass. Pass incomplete. Good play out there on the defensive went on the edge. Marshall, Had him coming up the, the alley, and he just coming up. made Tell sure he didn't catch the, the ball, ball, but I don't think he would have caught it anyway. Forced to punt again. Forced the Hurricanes to punt. Setting back deep on the 50, Wilson, Franks. LLC. I got some boisterous fans out here wanting them to just keep flags in the pocket. 28 <laughs> nothing here. Yeah. Had to back out of it and let that one roll. And right little down the ball at the 41. That's where West Lawrence will take over, and we'll be right back after this. At Lakes Alignment, we would like to take this time to thank our community for your support over the last 66 years and especially these last few months with the opening of our brand new truck center. When you drive into Lakes Alignment, you get master trained technicians like Anthony Penny. Everybody calls him Bug, but it means so much to us. And on behalf of Neil Harden, Lisa, our staff, and the entire Lake family, we thank you for supporting us since 1954. Come see us today. We open every morning at eight o'clock and now our truck center is open on Saturday to serve your big trucks and equipment from eight until 12. At Lakes Alignment, we thank you and this entire community and will continue to serve you with the best trained staff and friendly, courteous service. Lakes Alignment, hometown people serving hometown people. Come see us today, 104 Johnson Street, East Dublin. Back with you, first and 10 from the 41 yard line. Here come the Raiders. Hand it off straight ahead. What a hole, what a hole. Look at this boy, run. Nice hole and beautiful run. Boston, Boston. Down. Boston. First down, Raiders taking it inside. Good play by James Boston. Tough running. Tackle down. Gotta be the first time he touched the ball. Raiders His first time he touched the ball tonight, yeah. Took off a huge run right there. They're bringing him to the sidelines <laughs> for a little congratulatory handshakes. Hey, and great run there, but great, great blocking again. Absolutely. If that hole's not open, you can't do that. That's right. Again, to co credit to Coach Rogers and that offensive line of getting better throughout the year. Yeah, I bragged on and bragged on and bragged on Coach Rogers. Yeah, since he's, he's taking over that offensive line, man. He. He's a good guy, a good friend of mine. Flags just raining down everywhere. Yep. Lorenzo Turner on the carry, wrapped up high. Probably going to come Fox back. Making the stop out on the left corner. Holding. Holding call goes against the now, Raiders. Coach Rogers wish we hadn't bragged on him just That's seeing, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was one of his guys. <laughs> Get, yeah. Getting too much cloth there. Yeah. Well, you know, the first year he started uh, coaching and, and people would would talk about football and I say you, they say, well, how did the line get better? I said, well, he taught them how to block and told them how to hold. That's right. You got to learn how to hold. That's right. 
That's part of it. You got to hold and not get caught. Start getting away, turn them loose. Down to about three minutes in the third quarter. Josh, you brought your family out with you tonight, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I sure did. They have uh, got Hope. Uh, she's a Hatcher maiden name, and my father-in-law Jerry Hatcher's out and brought our brought our son out. Wilson taken down, number 14, Marshall. We didn't like Walter that. The no, no, no not at all. I don't like that body slam. No. No, there's been enough controversy on the field tonight. Stuff yeah. like that shouldn't happen. Yeah, but back on your family, I mean, most people, or everybody virtually knows Jerry Hatcher. He served us so well through the years, not only as superintendent, but through the years as an educator, Jill as Absolutely. an educator. And they continue to serve in church and in community and, they and in any way they can. They so. do. Great, great folks. And I tell people all the time, I, I could literally search the world over and not find uh, two better in-laws in, in Mr. Jerry and Miss Jill, and, and they do a ton for, for Hope and, and Hatcher and me, and we live right up the road from them and, and love having them close by us. Hickman with a great run. Tough run down inside the 10 to Good about the 7. The right side. Number 10, call his name for Gary and Hickman, first down. Kid keeps Boom. just pushing and pushing. Just a bulldog. And like you said earlier, that first that first hit's not going to bring him no. down. Uh -uh. You've got to wrap this. You've got to wrap this guy up in order to tackle him. Love a hard nosed runner at, at West. We need it. Got to have those points, and we got to consume some time. To keep that defense off the field so much, and it's paying off tonight. See a junior, correct? Junior. Yeah. So we've got him for one more year. Yeah. Power set in. Hickman with the call. Grayson Clark with a good block. Hickman bounces off a couple. Got Another a late flag, flag just Hickman flying in over the top. The inside, I to thought he was down, but Kennedy the ref threw one from the end zone. The white hat says face mask or a hold, and which one was that? I didn't see I it. Could. I missed okay. it. Yeah. We'll see how many steps up. West Lawrence. Oh, yeah. My eyes aren't good as they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Minute and a half on the clock here in the third quarter. First and 17 from the 17. Power set. Hickman. Running hard, turns it back in. Cut in there again. Cut in there again. For Darian Hickman. Takes it in. Hick 101 right Hickman here. following Third that good quarter. blocking. Jones, Clark leading the way on that left side, and he goes in. Kids elusive. We've seen spin moves tonight, him bouncing off folks, running <laughs> folks over. He's a fun, he's a fun guy to watch. And that makes it 35. 35 to nothing. Whoa. Wes Lawrence. We'll be back in just a moment on the game of the week. Hi, I'm Don Carswell with Dublin Nissan. Every day we are thankful for our loyal customers and all of our new ones too. With savings like these, you'll see why it's easy to buy from Dublin Nissan. Save over 6,000 off MSRP on this Dublin Nissan Altima SR. Make this Dublin Nissan Frontier SV yours for only $28,500. Or make this 2021 Rogue SL yours for only $35,000. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you'll ever need. All right, back with you about a minute left here in this third quarter, 35 to nothing. West Lawrence really putting it on Rutland. Taking down about the 20-yard line. Going to try to get all the way over to the other side. And ran so far to get so little. And a shot, a shot forward, getting a little action right there. Did a very good job of cutting off the edge there. 
Farmer's not there. He runs the ball. 90 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he tried to make it over there, but yeah. it was a long way to go. 32-yard line. There you are, that defensive unit back onto the field. They've just been outstanding tonight. Really hard-nosed football. I mean, a lot of white hats around the ball each and every time. A wild snap there. Yeah. Got fortunate. <laughs> Snapped it to the running back. <laughs> yeah, he skipped it back there to him. <laughs> Got about a yard. Jones brings him down. Short game brings up seven. Coaching staff, they, they continue to coach every play. I, it doesn't matter if it's 35 to nothing you. Now, and I'll say this about Coach McClain and his guys. They're high quality guys, high character guys. Coach McClain does a very good job of not only leading his staff, uh, but leading his players in the right direction. And Coach McClain, he, he knows it's more than about wins and losses out here. Mm. It's about developing young men. He does a good Coach job of that. Pushes it up. Yeah, to the he, he, he always, uh, you could tell he wants them to <laughs> walk off that field and in that right football here, career the this season, Raiders being a better man. Years. That's right, 35. that's right. And, and at then, right. go ahead. Into the third quarter, 35-0, we'll step away for a moment. We're going to be right back. You're watching the game of the week right here on TV 35. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future. That's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter. Member FDIC. All right, third and five. Rutland with the snap. I'm putting it in the right here. Boston was right there, but it was Fans thrown high. Number 14, Marshall. Got an injured Raider on the field. Uh, injured Raider. Raider. Austin. Austin's down. Ah. Uh, Hate to see it. Hey, remember our uh, player of the game's coming up. Coach Carter's going to pick our player of the game after the game today. So you lock in on who you think you'd vote for and see how good coach does. We'll step away and make sure this injured player gets up. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Glenn Register with Hometown Supply. Hometown Supply, located in downtown Dublin, is here for all of your home and hardware needs. We are committed to providing you with quality products and service on our full line of new and used appliances. We also offer service on most any brand of appliance on the market today. So if you need repairs on appliance, just give us a call here at Hometown Supply. Local delivery is available for merchandise sold. Anything that a customer needs, we take care of. Just remember, if you can't do business at Hometown Supply, you just can't do business. Mission. All right, back with you, 35-0, and Isaiah Austin, you said, was a player That's down, right. right, Coach? He's off the that field. Rutland got a punt, and we're standing on about the 30-yard line. Franks and Wilson waiting. It's a high punt this time. High boomer. I mean, high ball. Just dives right there and goes out of bounds at the 40. That's where Wilson and the crew will take over. 35 to nothing. And this is a dream come true for Coach McLean. We thought it was going to be wet. You, you're against a team that loves to run the ball and big kids. And that's an equalizer a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brian and Eric Scarborough. All right, Harry Frank the Huddle. Here come the Raiders. In the shield. 11 the minutes Brian left in this ball game. game. Also, Jeffrey Tosh and Smith. Scott and Lisa Snell. We got Jason, Jace Thompson in the game now at QB. That's what I was waiting on right yep. there. We got Evan Guyton in the backfield. Guyton cuts it outside. He's slung down, but over midfield in the the territory. Ball. Middle to the left. Tackle, tackle made by number four, Foreman. First down, Raiders. What you know about Guyton, Coach? He's a junior. 
I didn't, I didn't teach Guyton. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about him uh, as, a, as a person or as a player, honestly. But I like that run right there. He broke a nice run. Hey, if that's any indication, Absolutely. Coach. Absolutely. Huh? Give it to him again. He's A okay with you, huh? He's had some good runs this year and high hopes on running backs coming along to younger running backs. Appleby gets set on the right side. Handoff. Oh, quick pass, and it looked and good, but it. couldn't keep his hands on it. Jay did a good job right there. Put it right on the money. Joel Howard, number 15. Yeah, Howard had it. Right. He just couldn't bring it in and hold it. Howard, a junior. Like to have another chance at that one. Absolutely. Nine and a half on the clock. Second down, 10 from the 48. West Lawrence in Rutland territory. Pulled them off sides. We got one flag on the bottom. I figured they'd all want to throw Yeah, them. About five or six and of them yeah. out there. Just a hard count got them to jump. So, got to put Thompson in good, good position now with a second and five. All on about the 43. Now Howard in motion here. Got the snap. Tom's going to hand it off. Oh, elusive there. You got to tackle him. Turner with the carry there. Renzo Turner. Turn him on a good run. Line. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever he can find this a hole, he'll yeah. find it. Got another first down. Probably got, what, 20-yard run on that one? Close yeah. to 20 yards. Down to the 29-yard line. Probably ran 45 yards to get 20 yards there. <laughs> Just looking for that first down. Down under eight and a half. Spreading them out. With Thompson and Turner in the backfield. Thompson going to throw one. Got him wide open. Touchdown to Frank. Caleb Appleby right there. A touchdown. Our Alex Probe tribute. Touchdown pass. It looked like 12, but it was 17. 17, yeah. Well, it's hard to miss that target, too. Yeah. That is a big kid. We'll take Rock, Rock's what they call it. He's pumped up after that touchdown. A good pass by Jace right there over the middle. It was pretty. Yeah. Brown for him. And he'll hold for the extra point. We got Dustin Cooey that's taking over the kicking responsibilities. Shanked it. No good. Yep, pulled it that'll, hard left. Yep. That'll make it 41 to nothing with 805 left. We'll be right back. Every team has a leader, and Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank, proudly supporting local high school football. Farmer's State Bank salutes those who make our community great by working hard to make Friday night football happen. Go Irish, go Falcons, go Crusaders, go Raiders, and count on the team at Farmer's State Bank, Florence County's leader in hometown banking. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. All right, back with you and to kick off, who was that coach? That's Dustin Cooey. Taking it about the 15, 20 yard line. Be brought down about to 27. Caden Snell again. Vincent on the return. Hustle don't take a break. Sure does. I'll tell you the guys played a solid game tonight. And this this should sure up a Playoff spot, right? That's right. Yeah. Had to win one of the two to get That's into right. playoff. Guaranteed a fourth, but hopefully next week will bring a third seat. 
and one of the main things is the team is just getting better each week. That's if right. everybody can stay healthy, if you can get all your players on the field, you got a shot. From the 27, handoff again. Still pounding it. Just hit the hole just about as hard as it did the yeah. first yeah. time he ran it. Yeah. Good play. DeAndre Forrest. DeAndre Forrest getting the in snap. there on some action. Good plays in there by the Raider defense. Great kid. Had an opportunity to teach him as well. Good to what see do you some teach? of these. What's your subject? Teach language arts, eighth grade language arts at, at the West Lawrence Middle School. All right. Nice well, to see some of these younger kids getting some experience tonight. Phelps on the carry. Tackle made out there for West Lawrence. Guyton. Traven and also Ash. Bringing the blue heat. Down to about six minutes left in this game. This brings up a third down and five. A few clean jerseys in the game. Rolling out the pass, boom. Just like he didn't want it. Nope, slipped right out of his hands. Pass incomplete. Continue for Sandifer. Franks and Wilson back out on the field to return to maybe a second punt of the game. Punt team coming onto the field for Rutland. I'm telling you that that starting running back is not let up. He hits a hole just as hard Absolutely. as, he, sure as he did on the first play. He I, I, sure I, does. You got to take your hat off to him. He's a hard nosed he kid. Is. Like a timeout. Timeout on the field. Five minutes left in the game. We'll be right back. I'm Brad Grimes. And we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on the natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team. Seated up in natural gas. All right, back with you, Coach Stubbs. All the work she does. Trying to call some of the young kids. Yeah, I've got a shot. Shot farm ran as a DB. Kicking it real. Got Quentin Clark in as a linebacker here. Go Eagles. Martavian Blash in as a DB. Here's your punt. I mean, that's a high booming punt. I guess he's had a lot of practice. Fair caught on about the 43 yard FCS, line. FCS, FCF, fair catch, Franks. Franks. Well, with the acronym with tonight. sure hands. Bringing out some language arts. Raiders take over, first down. And the Raider Brigade and seniors have released the baby powder and celebrating a victory. With four and a half left on the clock. One of the few times I've seen Bradley Wilson with his helmet off. All right. Back in the action with Chase Thompson. A quarterback. There's a snap. A little high. Gonna hand it off. Not a lot. Whoa. Got more running room than I thought.
Got some younger kids in the game. Got Johnny Williams, number 82. He's a freshman out of wide receiver. Number 25, Zane Goffin. Sophomore, there you go, Zane Goffin. You know Zane. I don't know Zane. Zane's an athlete. He showed it right there. Good running. Got Dalton Kane, number 89, and it tied in. Jameer Urshry getting some time in as on the line. Oh, he hit the whole hard, didn't he? <laughs> That's Tosh and Clark there. <laughs> I love it. Clark. He hit the whole real hard. Rolls yeah. it out, tackle made. Clark had a good Stone. crease now. Yeah, he had a good hole. He's, he's a, a, he's a hard nosed one. kid. Yeah. Gonna bring up second down. About the length of Pinocchio's short nose. Under three minutes. And all we're going to do is run. High snap, got his hand on it. Yeah, Jace did a good job handling that ball. Yeah, he's had a couple there. He had to reach up high. Picks it three. Dolphin. Jones making his shot. First down, pick up the West Horn, 224. Time's ticking away right here at the shoe. Raiders up 42. I mean, valuable experience for these young kids that get in the game, Coach. You know Ab it is. Absolutely. Anytime, anytime you can get young guys to the game to get them experience, it's a, it's a good day. Unfortunately, our, our first string guys played very well this game to enable some of these younger guys to get in and get some experience. Tough run over left side, number 28. Isn't that great? Edwards. Edwards. That's, Edwards. Yeah, that, David Virginia. Edwards. Bryce Lloyd, number 70, getting a little time in there at the O-line. Good for these guys. A lot different, a lot different under the bright lights than it is at practice field. Yeah, man. And you still got big kids in there for Rutland, I mean. Eh? Oh, yeah. A couple of them look like full-grown men. <laughs> Who checked their ID? That's right. <laughs> like the ball. Another high snap. Thompson does a good job with. Flag over here on this side. I don't know why. I don't either. Taking out about 40, 42 to nothing. Got another Don Hitley. Song on the way. Little dirty laundry on the field after tonight's game. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> 55 seconds left. Coach, you got to be zoning in on who your player is. Now, you don't tell me yet, but I want you to stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. And right after the game, we're going to go down onto the field and present the player of the game tonight. Coach Carter is going to hand it off. and. And Brian on one Lawrence. of these young men. We have several who played an outstanding game, Coach. Absolutely. I've got my guy picked. Not going not gonna to let the cat out of the bag yet. We'll talk to him here in just a few short minutes. Backs us up to a second and 20. Thanks to all our sponsors tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Without them, we couldn't be able to highlight uh, these young men each and every week from our area schools. One of the last plays, if, if not the last play. Chase with the snap, just going to hand it off. Brought down right there at the line of scrimmage. That should do it there. That should do it right there. Slogan making the stop. Ball carried out there, number 30, Clinton Clark. Don't think we'll make Stay another one. He calls him over to the sideline. That's going to wrap tonight. it up. Coach Carter, thanks so much for your help tonight. Yeah, I've had a blast. Good thanks good for having me on, Ron. Yeah. Stay tuned, good ladies good and gentlemen, good for the player of the game. You're watching TV 35's Game of the Week.
Hi, I'm Don Carlswell with Dublin Nissan. Many of us are ready for the holidays. You know, family, food, football. And with these deals from Dublin Nissan, a new Nissan. Save over 6000 off MSRP on this Dublin Nissan Altima SR. Take 3500 off MSRP on this Dublin Nissan Kicks SR. Or make this 2021 Rogue SL yours for only 35000 Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you'll ever need. Hey guys, I'm, I'm back here with you. Uh, I've got Cordarian Hickman, he's my player of the game. He had a heck of a game tonight, just bouncing off folks and making good runs all night. I'm going to give this trophy player of the game to Cordarian. Cordarian, where do you get the inspiration from, man, to, to bounce off folks? I saw you do several 360s out there. You had some great runs tonight. Uh, I get it from my mom, my dad, my family, and them inspire me to do the game. Fantastic, man. Hey, and you, this is your first year here, right? West Lawrence. Where'd you come from, man, and how has West Lawrence treated you thus far? Um, I came from Mississippi, and West Lawrence, they, they've been streaming right. They've been streaming good. Good deal. You have anybody else, man, that you'd like to say anything to tonight? Uh, I want to say uh, thank, you, thank my mom, my dad, my aunts, grandmama, and just being there for me. Fantastic, man. Hey, this is a big win tonight, man. It gets us, it gets us in the playoffs for sure. I tell you, as a coach of West Lawrence, I love to see young men like you, man, uh, supporting our community, coming out and grinding every every Friday night for our guy for our guys and and everything you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.